Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 10 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about step argument transformation. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 9 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all try to help save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So let's try to do it as much as possible. Argument transformation. A step argument transformation can simplest be described as a way to get typed object for a certain pattern in the given when then scenario. So this is very very important. Let's say if you want to convert an object or a type to certain custom type then you can do that via this concept the argument transformation. So it allows the transformation of a step definition argument to a custom type giving you full control over how that type is being instantiated. So this is really really awesome because if you want to convert certain types from a step definition argument to a specific type that you want, let's say if you want to convert an integer to a string or a string to a daytime format, then you can do that using this argument transformation concept available in Cucumber out of the box. So if you are from a specflow background, you should have worked with step argument transformation already, which comes with a DLL called specflow.assist.dynamic. So we have already discussed about this a lot in our specflow video series of XD Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch there how we did that in specflow. And the same concept is available in Cucumber out of the box. And we can achieve this using what is called as a transformer class. So using this transformer class, we can convert any type. And you can see that within this ankle bracket, I have passed string. So I'm trying to convert a string type this time. And if I want to pass a specific type, let's say if you have a custom type called user form or user class, so you can just pass the user as well. So it can be of any type you want. So what is the difference between spec flow and Cucumber step argument transformation? To achieve a step argument transformation, following rules needs to be followed in spec flow. The return type of a transformation should be same as the parameter type and the regular expression should match to the original argument. And if there are multiple matching transformations available, a warning is provided in the trace log and the first transformation is being used. But in Cucumber, there is no such harsh rules available. You just need to extend any type to transformer type and then you need to override the transform method available in the transformer class and then the argument that you need to convert or transform should be called with an at transform annotation as a parameter. So this is what is the rules and it is pretty straightforward and simple. So let's quickly see this in action and see how things works. So for that I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been working so long from our previous video. And what I'm going to do this time is for our step argument transformation, I'm not really going to convert a type for the first time. Let's say I just want to add a email address for every email name or ID like username that I pass uh, with a suffix of at ea.com. Right. So in order to do that, what I can do is let's say I just want to create a dummy step here and I enter the user's email address as admin. Let's say this is the case. And if there is an email address with something called as email colon admin, then I would want to say that, okay, so if this is the case, then just convert the string of email admin to admin at ea.com, right? So this is kind of dummy case for now. So don't worry about it yet. I'm just going to just show you how the transformation work. Next example, I will show you how to do that with the different types, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a step definition for our step in the feature. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's try to expand this and it, it won't work. So all I have to do is just go over here and do a increase font size. So this will increase the font size for me. 
rather doing that there is one more option control alt s this will bring the settings and here in the general there is something called as change font size based on the uh, scrolling of the mouse wheel so I'm just gonna check that hit apply hit OK now if I just increase the font size by scrolling the mouse scroll wheel it will just increase the font size so it is pretty cool all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete this guy and here for the username let's say I just want to uh, just do a regular expression over here so I'm just gonna copy this so instead of this guy the email I'm just gonna put it over here something like this and let's call this as a string email and now I just want to convert or maybe add a value over here something like uh, system dot out dot print I want to say the email address is and if I print the email right now it will be just admin right it won't be something else but I just want to suffix the at ea.com for every email that I pass over here for this particular string so I want to transform that so how do I do that it's very very simple using what is called a step argument transformation so I'm going to create a package here because it's a best practice or whatever transformations that you do you just put it in the uh, transformation folder and in this transformation folder you can just add a class and let's call this as email convert or email transform and hit OK so what does it say do you want to add in the git for now uh, I can maybe yep I just want to add that so it is adding to the git let's expand the size of this class as well all right and now I'm just gonna say extends as I already said we need to extend this particular class using what is called as a transformer class so this transformer class is actually available using available in the cucumber.api so I'm just gonna use that and this time I'm just going to use the string type because I'm just gonna add or suffix a email address so the string is fine and if you just over here it says that the email transformer must either declare the class as an abstract or implement the transform method so as I already said in the slide we need to implement the add transform method so for doing that just call this public and I'm just going to return something over here oops string and let's call this as transform and let's say value or you can even say email if you want to that's okay whatever it is email okay maybe it's a username and then we just need to return the username dot concatenate ea.com right I just want to return that and since you are trying to implement and you're going to override this particular method available in the transformer so you need to call the at override attribute or annotation so I'm just gonna save it and then I'm just gonna go over here to the login step and since we are going to call this transformation we need to call the at transform attribute over here so for now just try to run this and see if everything is looking good so I'm just gonna run this particular uh, login feature and I will see that whether I get the printer output for the email which is nothing but the uh, username admin so let's see if we get that all right so we see there is something called as if we go to this particular feature the address is admin right we are getting something over here but it is not admin at ea.com so if I add the at transform annotations for the argument you will see that it will work fine so for doing that let me close these two browsers and let's go to the step over here so for this particular email that I'm passing in here I'm gonna transform right so it is pretty straightforward then compared to the spec flow of C sharp because it says that which particular argument that you have to transform but there is one more downside because in spec flow it does things automatically whereas here you have to tell exactly which particular argument that you need to transform 
So there is both pros and cons in both of them, but I would say this is pretty good than uh, SpecFlow. So I'm just going to use the add transform, and here I'm going to say which particular class that I need to call so that it will convert the email username to the concatenated value. So it is available in what is called as the email transformer class. So email transformer dot class. There we go. So this will tell that okay this particular username has to be transformed into what is called as a concatenated value available over here. So whatever username do you pass admin and it will concatenate to at ea.com right I just missed the at symbol out there. So now if I try to run this this time I should see admin at ea.com. So before that you saw just email address is admin now you will see admin at ua.com. But before that, let's quickly see why is this coming in a single line. Okay, everything is just model print ln, so I don't know why. So let's quickly run this. All right, the browser open, which means that particular step has been executed. So, all right. And now if I go over here, you can see that this time I have the email address is admin at ea.com right so this particular step has been transformed into a concatenate value which is great right so this is what is the transformation that you can do uh, using the step argument transformation so the last thing which I told the conversion or converting of a type so that's pretty important right so I'm going to deal with another very very simple way of conversion because this is a basic of uh, cucumbers they're not really going to deep dive into some custom types rather I'm going to do with the available types uh, with Java so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert uh, the integer into string count something like that what do you say that and I verify the count of my salary digits for rupees thousand it's completely idiocratic example I know that but just to show you how things works from a string to an integer right I'm just gonna convert that that's why I'm just saying uh, this is a ridiculous example but just to show you how to transform an integer into a string and how it returns the count value to you that's what I'm gonna show you this time right so I'm just gonna create one more transformation step here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add one more Java class and let's call this as an uh, salary trans salary count transformer and here I'm just gonna say extend transformer and this time I'm gonna extend integer right and this integer is going to again as I already said we need to override at override public and it's going to turn integer oops integer and transform so I'm gonna say salary so this is going to be the, the it is going to take the input as a string salary but it's going to return you the count of the count of that particular uh, salary right so how to do that so it's just going to turn the salary dot length all right return there we go so this is going to return the length of the particular value that you're going to be in that you're going to pass in for the particular uh, step argument so let's go over here it is not being implemented yet so control alt b or oh, sorry alt enter and create the step definition in the login step it comes in here so you can see that it is automatically bringing the salary for us and let's see system dot out dot print ln my salary digits count is I'm just gonna say salary all right and now I'm just gonna call the add transform attribute or annotation and then I'm gonna call the 
salary count transformer dot class there we go I'm just gonna save it control alt L this will align the line everything is looking good I'm just gonna save it and right now if I try to run this you can see that it will give you the count of your salary as thousand but as four sorry so what does it says uh, it says a uh, transformer mm, I think there is something I'm missing yep sorry it is transform all right I just missed a s out there so let's try to run this feature again all right it's opening the browser and it's entering the username and password which means that particular step has been executed and now if I go to the result here you can see that my salary digit count is four cool right so if you pass thousand it is four and if you pass maybe ten thousand or something like that or something like that and now if I try to run this it should return you the number of uh, digits that you are passing in as a salary so if this is your salary you'll be very very happy of course in India for now so yeah so this is what it is so this is how you can perform the step argument transformation using cucumber so this is exactly available in specflow as well well the concept is very simple in cucumber then compared to specflow right so once again that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great